Deoxys, a mysterious extraterrestrial Pokemon that came to be after the DNA of a space virus underwent a sudden mutation upon exposure to a laser beam from Earth. This is all that's said to be known about the DNA Pokemon's bizarre origins, but what if I told you that you know more about Deoxys than you may think? What's going on guys, Hybrid Ear here, and as you can tell, I got a little theory on Deoxys' origins, and today, I got a good friend of mine to help me out, Ozzy Mitsu. Hello everyone, Ozzy Mitsu here. Firstly, I just wanted to thank Hybrid for having me on his channel. It's great to be here. We decided to collaborate today as we both had video ideas on Deoxys. So, after you're done checking this video out, be sure to check out our analysis on the different forms of Deoxys as part of my Evolution Solution series. Be sure to hero punch that like button if you guys enjoyed the video, hit that dislike button if you don't enjoy the video, let us know how you feel, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, share the video around, and subscribe for more content. Deoxys is a very special Pokemon. It was the very first Pokemon to receive its own unique battle music. It has four unique forms that it can change to upon exposure to meteorites. Its speed form makes it the fastest Pokemon in the game, and it's the only Pokemon that's 100% confirmed to be from outer space. Sure, Pokemon like Clefuck, Clefairy, and Clefable have strong evidence to show that they come from outer space, but Deoxys is the only Pokemon that we've seen come directly from outer space, which is quite peculiar. But what's even stranger is that Deoxys seems to have come from a space virus. Taking a look at all of its dex entries, almost all of them state that the DNA of an alien virus underwent a mutation, causing it to turn into Deoxys. Its Ruby and Omega Ruby dex entries even state that this sudden mutation occurred after the virus was exposed to a laser beam. So, Deoxys was made from a space virus and a laser beam. I guess it's the birds and the bees of space! You have a rather odd obsession with breeding. Of course I have an obsession with breeding. Come on, Ozzy. Everyone knows that breeding gets you all the views. Stay PG, kids. Anyway, Deoxys' origin seems to be pretty mysterious, they lack detail, and they don't have much depth to them at all. Could that really be all we know about the DNA Pokémon? Nope. We may actually know a lot more than we think. There's a very mysterious virus in the Pokemon world that fans know about, and it actually happens to be the only virus that we know about. The Pokemon Virus, or otherwise known as Pokerus. Pokerus is a virus that isn't known to very many people, not even to the professors of the games. The virus is actually a microscopic life form that attaches itself onto Pokemon, and whilst little is known about the virus, we do know that it is a beneficial virus as it helps your Pokemon grow exceptionally well by doubling the amount of effort values a Pokemon earns, giving the respective Pokemon high stat very quickly. Like we mentioned before, Pokerus is the only virus that the players know about in the Pokemon world, and Deoxys' Pokemon Black and White Dex entries state that an alien virus that fell to Earth on a meteor underwent a DNA mutation to become this Pokémon. It's likely that some parts of this virus escaped the mutation and landed on Earth. The rest could have formed Deoxys, and the virus may have been Pokerus. Just like Pokerus, Deoxys' main gimmick revolves around stats. As most of you know, Deoxys has four forms. Normal, Attack, Defense, and Speed. Each of these forms increase the respective stats of Deoxys, while lowering the opposite stats to keep Deoxys' stats balanced. Pokerus is mainly used by competitive players to emphasize and grow certain stats, the same way Deoxys' forms are used to enhance its own stats. So the importance of stats is a very crucial similarity between the two. Another odd similarity has to do with Deoxys and its colors, as well as Pokerus and its colors. Now to know if your Pokemon have Pokerus, Nurse Joy will actually tell you the first time you run into Pokerus, but you may have caught it before Nurse Joy if you notice a purple icon saying PKRS when you go to check the stats of your Pokemon. This purple colour shows that your Pokemon has been infected with a Pokemon virus and that it can spread to other members of your party. After 1-4 to four days, your Pokemon will become cured and the purple icon will be replaced with this yellow icon. This symbolises that the Pokemon has come into contact with the Pokerus and will have all the benefits of Pokerus but will no longer be able to spread it to other Pokemon. Now it's very interesting that the colours are purple and yellow. Deoxys' regular colours consist of red and blue, and together, red and blue make purple. But beyond that, Deoxys' core is also purple. And coincidentally, 
Deoxys' shiny form is also yellow, just like the cured Poker Rust symbol. Now, it does seem like the colors could be a coincidence or a stretch, but colors have helped the cases of some theories before, such as the Mew and Ditto failed clone theory. Strange, all we really know of Poker Rust is that it's a virus, its colors, and that its mechanics in the game revolve around stats. And all three of these points can actually apply to Deoxys as well. Could it be a coincidence? Coincidence? I think not. Both Deoxys and Pokerus have many subtle connections, but these connections mean everything when you consider the fact that neither Deoxys or Pokerus share many connections with anything else in the Pokemon universe. A strange Pokemon and a bizarre virus, both shrouded in mystery, but I think this is one mystery solved for the both of them. And who knows? Deoxys has a psychic type, and it was hit by a laser beam. Necrozma is also a psychic type, and it shoots off laser beams. So could Necrozma have been the one who created Deoxys? I don't know, just speculation at this point. But hopefully, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon give us some more clues to that side of the mystery. Thanks for watching guys, and a big shout out to Ozimitsu for joining me on this video. Thank you for having me on your channel, Hybrid. Tackling this theory revolving around Deoxys was a hell of a lot of fun, and it's so fascinating how much is hidden behind these pocket monsters. But this is my stop, I got a jet, and I hope to see some of you on my channel for a further analysis of Deoxys and its different forms. See ya! Once again guys, thanks for watching. Check out our video on Ozzy's channel, as well as his channel. Subscribe to both of our channels if you haven't already. Check out our Twitter accounts and Patreons, and I'll see you guys over on Oz's channel, alright? Later!